Okay guys, what's up? It's Graphic Design here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cool desktop background. Okay, first off, you just want to make a black background. That's not black. Um, create a new layer. Go over to the gradient tool and make sure it's on the circle thing and then colour to transparent with a white, select the middle and just drag it up like so and you have this cool effect then I want you to make another new layer and select two of your favourite colours um, in my opinion these two blues work best get the best sort of effect then once you've got that I just want you to drag it down like so and you have this cool effect then you can come over to curves and play around with the curves how you wish um, so you can do anything you want with that um, as you can see I've got a nice black background around mine because this is that that's the image we're aiming for today so I'm just gonna keep that like that then I'm gonna go back onto adjustments and we're gonna go on to brightness contrast okay and make it like that yeah and then we're going to make a new layer make it white paint bucket tool um, so it looks like that then you want to go to filter render fibers and make sure it's six and eight and it should look something like that and just click OK, then hit Control T. And I'm sorry if I'm going fast, it's just this is quite a long process. And I want to get through it as quickly as possible. So just drag it out like that and make sure it's going diagonal. And then come over to here and click Soft Light. Then you have this really nice effect. Um, you can also click Overlay, which I prefer best. So I'm just going to keep it at that. And then you can do whatever you want from there. You can rub stuff out or whatever you want to do really. And then from there we're going to go on to... Um, oh there it is. I'm going to click this little tool here and then come on to brush um, preset thing. And I'm change the shape dynamics to full, change the transfer to full, the scattering to full and make sure airbrush and smoothening are ticked and from there we're just going to click around the screen by dragging it across and you'll get this nice cool effect all across your screen and then you can change the objects to soft light overlay I'm gonna stick with overlay but turn the opacity down a little let's go back actually oh. gonna go back until before I was using the brush because a main thing I forgot to do was to create a new layer so obviously just create a new layer, layer and just drag it across like so and then change it to overlay yeah so once you've done that you've got your nice cool background then from here we're just going to add the text so go over and click text just create that 
and then type in your text. So I'm going to have graphical and um, the font I'm using Bank Gothic, it's a nice font. And then we're just going to click OK. Then we're going to um, first, we're actually going to go on blending options, um, stroke, change the stroke to a nice light blue. Then a pattern overlay, and then you can add any pattern you want, or you can just edit a text as you wish. I'm going to give it this nice um, honeycomb effect on the text that I think looks pretty good. Um, then we're just going to duplicate the layer, drag it down, and then I'm going to change this to Dizzy. Designing, and then I'm just going to make that a little bigger. I'm going to drag that down like that, and then I'm going to drag that like that, and you're pretty much done. And then you can add anything like flares or anything you want. So just use this as an example. I don't know, whatever this is. You can add this is a nice cool background. See it gives it a nice sort of starburst effect. That's pretty cool. And if you bring it, have it coming off the middle like that. That looks pretty cool. And then you can use um, any flares you've got. Um, I like this vivid blue one. But you can use anything. So let's just drag the vivid blue on and then change this to screen. And then click tick. And then there you've got it. And then just around the edges. 